And welcome back. What if we told you one of the most important archaeological sites in the nation is right in our own backyard? Well, it is. It's a place called Little Salt Spring, and it's in Northport. And scientists are looking for evidence of finding people living in Florida from 10,000 B.C. That is so cool. So here to talk more about the project is Tom Wagner from the Florida Aquarium. And this is really a significant area in our own backyard. Tell us about Little Salt Spring. This is an amazing project, and, and the Florida Aquarium is, is really happy to be partnered with the University of Miami. Mm -hmm. Little Salt Spring is one of the most unique archaeological sites in, in really the world because there's very little oxygen in the water, and we are doing excavation underwater at about 90 feet below the surface. Because there's no oxygen, what we're finding down there is still organic. It's not fossilized. Oh my goodness. So that means it's well preserved, is that right? Extremely well preserved. So in a lot of uh, archaeological sites where you're on land, you find fossils and things like that. But when we find organic material, whether it's animal bone or human remains, you can do genetic mapping to find out exactly where it's from. So archaeological archaeology is kind of like putting together the pieces of a jigsaw puzzle, mm -hmm. but you don't have the pieces. You have to go find the pieces. And Little Salt Spring is very difficult because there's no light down there. We have to oh bring our God. own light. Yeah. You're limited to the amount of time you can spend down there because you're underwater. And so the Florida Aquarium provides scientifically trained divers to do this technical diving with the University of Miami to bring back whatever evidence we can find of the earliest people in Florida 12,000 years ago. Like you said, 10,000 BC. Yeah, how significant is something like this? So it's history changing. It is history changing. And, and you know, most people feel like the early Paleo Indians started to cross the land bridge mm -hmm. between what is Asia and what is North America about 12,000 years ago. But we're finding evidence of people here already at that time. So it begs the question, did they travel very quickly across what was a very difficult landscape or did they come from a different place? And we'll be able to figure that out if we find what we're looking for. That is so incredible. And when does this all start? We start again this Monday, and mm -hmm. it's a, a two-week project. We're limited basically on resources. Sure. You know, they're finite. So the people that can work on it and the funds to do it, we typically do in the summer, and we work on this ledge 90 feet below the surface in two-week periods. 90 feet below the surface, and yeah. we're seeing some video of some divers there right now. It yes. is, it's a difficult dive, right? It's extremely difficult. We work on what's called a, a helium oxygen blend, mm -hmm. and that allows us to stay down deeper. It allows us to have a shorter turnaround time before we go back in. But it's a very challenging uh, environment that you're mm -hmm. working in, and when you're starting to move this material, yeah. you can lose visibility just like that, and it will completely black on you. Okay, Tom Wagner with the Florida Aquarium. Thank you so much for joining us. And next week you're going to come back and we're going to talk about Shark Week. Talk about sharks. Yeah, I love that. Okay. <laughs> and we'll put this interview online at 10connects.com. All right, now here's Chris. Okay, guys. Well, we're going to start